Hello dear Aquarius, welcome to Divine Debut, this is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for being here. This is your October 1st till the 15th of 2020 general and love reading. Just letting you know that there are two full moons in the month of October. October is going to be quite challenging. So the first full moon, which is going to be difficult as it is on, it will be on Chiron. Chiron is that wound, open wound that will be happening in the sign of Aries on the first of the month. And we've got a second second consecutive new moon, um, wow, full moon, sorry, um, on the 31st of October, which is Halloween. And it is a blue moon, as it's very rare that we have two full moons in the same month. That will be happening in the sign of Taurus. So, dear Aquarius, what's going on for you at this time or when you receive this message? What's going on with Aquarius, please, Spirit? What's happening with Aquarius? We've got the Three of Cups, which is a reconciliation card. At the foundation, we've got, and in the distant past, is the Tower. We have the Knight of Cups. What's on your mind is the Queen of Cups. And the outcome is a page of pentacles. So this is starting off slowly. This looks like a love reading for a lot of you. There's been a major shift, a sudden shift, uh, an epiphany. Okay, there is a lot of love here. The Queen of Cups is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is obviously the other person. Knight of Cups is your energy. So you're coming through as the Knight of Cups. In the recent past, you were not certain about this. You may also be dealing with someone that is a little bit more mature, more older than you. Okay, we've got the Three of Cups, which I feel is more than likely a reconciliation. Uh, Three of Cups is celebration. Some of you uh, could be dealing with someone, um, if this is a new person, you could be meeting someone through your friends, through going out for work, having drinks. Remember that the Page of Pentacles could also be a messenger that's sending you a message of something long-term, something very stable, something of value. And the Page of Pentacles is also Earth. So we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got the Hanging Man. And the Hanging Man is Pisces. Pisces is a cycle that is ending, obviously. It could be a karmic cycle. This could also be some, somewhat of a hidden connection as well. Why? Because the hanging man is Pisces and Pisces is clandestine, relationships, secrets, okay? Um, the hanging man is also someone that's been waiting, waiting and surrendering to the energies and waiting for the enlightenment. Wow, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords can mean deception. It can mean that there has been an ending at some point. Now, with the retrogrades happening, with Mercury retrograding and with Mars retrograding, usually people and situations come back from the past. So, dear Aquarius, let's have a look at the Romance Angels and your love life. So, we've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and Earth as well. Yes, yeah, Scorpio is very strong with the uh, Tower, but the Tower is also an awakening, I believe, the, the awakening is happening for you. Why? Because Uranus. Uranus is your ruling planet. Let's see what's going on in love for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Aquarius. Wow, we've got deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Wow, so someone has not been truthful about where their, um, their, where their heart lies. Remember, deception is... Someone's wearing a mask, not being totally truthful, maybe even with themselves. We've got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. This could also say that maybe because of the lockdown, you know, a lot has happened where people's finances have been um, changing and therefore, uh, you know, this is very harsh. So some people have put love on the back burner. Um, love has been very hard. Now it's the time to, for relationships, whether it's family, co-workers, doesn't matter. 
relationships are trying to balance out. And we've got religious factors. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Wow, okay. So some of you could be from a different area of the world. Okay, maybe you are at a distance. If there have been different uh, values, then this is a sudden shift that comes through. Remember that the Queen of Cups is someone usually with an open heart. Some of you could be from a different background, so different heritage, different status in the world, okay, where your finances or your heritage is concerned. What's at the bottom? And we've got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So someone is letting go and just waiting. We've got flirt here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So a lot of different messages here. Worth waiting for says that the angels have not taken flight yet. Okay, so it's all about waiting. Um, for some of you, this could be a a soulmate connection that's coming through. If you've been dealing with someone very deceptive or very controlling, maybe someone that was even having a lot of fun, um, you know, using up all your finances, um, using you, I'm going to say, using you, for their own happiness, for their own um, advantage. We've got the tower, which is transformation, right? This is like... An epiphany dear Aquarius and this is sudden a sudden revelation that maybe you were not in the right uh, in the right connection now the hanging man does speak of a lot of sacrifice so you've been dealing with someone quite this could say that you've been dealing with someone quite deceptive in the past maybe some of you have been dealing with uh, legalities that's why your money, your finances have have dropped. We've also got the High Priestess, which, which speaks of a lot of secrets. But this can also be the other woman. Remember that this is Virgo Pisces axis, which is very similar to the Piscean energy. So lots of secrets. Okay. Now, if you have come from an upbringing where... Uh, you had a set of rules, a, a set of guidelines, um, or your beliefs. Um, that is what you could be um, releasing. The hanging man is like letting go and releasing and surrendering and not controlling a situation. You're just letting it go and waiting and being open, Aquarius. But it talks about divine timing. Um, let's have a look at what spirit has got to say for you. Some of you may be coming from a, you could be coming from another connection or you are dealing with someone that is coming from another connection. Could be a mother and a child, could be uh, someone that you have in mind, someone that you may be, um, have been dealing with in the past and the restrictions are maybe too many too many cooks in the kitchen. Three of cups, remember? Let's see what spirit has got for you. And we have angel of healing. The angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. So yes, you are in need of healing if you have been used by another connection, dealing with someone um, that was quite deceptive. I don't feel that it's this Queen of Cups, okay? I do feel here that you have had um, second thoughts like you're back and forth in the recent past about whether you're ready to offer your cup. I do feel that you see this Queen as someone very, um, very much like the Empress, so someone that you look up to, someone that you have much respect for. So let's have a look and see what else is going on, dear Aquarius. Yeah, of course, this could be a connection from a past lifetime. We do have the Three of Cups. So 
I, the angels are saying it's worth waiting for, and it's all about divine timing. Okay, so, and remember that where the tower is, this is a shift from spirit. This is the path you're meant to be on. Let's see what this tower is about. And we've got the Eight of Wands. So love messages or even flight travel. You could be dealing with someone that is from a, another area of the world. Let's take another card. These are Cupid's love arrows. This is quickly a very, very quick shift coming through. And the arrows of love coming into your life quickly. And we've got the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles is the Virgo card. Um, could speak of a pure love, okay, someone that you see as very hard working. Some of you may have been uh, working very hard to get closer to this Queen of Cups, whoever this is. Let's have a look at that Three of Cups. And we have the High Priestess again, so it is secretive. But there's also a very strong spiritual connection here as well. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. I do feel that the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups is the same person. Could be Pisces, could be Virgo. Um, yeah, mainly. Doesn't have to be. This could be someone that's very spiritual, someone very selfless, very the perfect mother. Let's have a look at the Hanging Man. And we've got the Ace of Wands. So this is creating something new. This is an Ace, remember. And what comes, it is very much like the Aries energy. So what comes after Pisces is Aries. So a brand new beginning where that seed is planted. You're dealing with ending a karmic cycle here. What's going on with this Queen of Cups? We have the Chariot. So we've got Strong Cancer. This could also be a move. Moving towards this Queen of uh, hearts that you want to share your heart with and we've got the nine of pentacles which is again the virgo card this is someone that's very independent financially she's standing quite strong um, emotionally she's on her own now i don't know if she is someone who um, has been divorced she is a mother or if she's someone who's coming out of another connection let's look at the card of the knight of cups And I do feel with the masks that uh, because of external factors, maybe you have not been fully open and truthful about your emotions towards, towards this Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Pentacles doesn't show emotions. She provides a service. So if you've got someone that is being very caring, that means that they're coming from a place of love. Even though they're showing us very strong independently, their heart is open. Let's have a look at this Knight of Cups. And we've got the Devil. So there's not only uh, a romantic connection here. There's also a very passionate and very desirous uh, need to come close to this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, whoever this is for you. Um, now this is someone who's very practical, very... Someone who does not give up very easily, as when they give their heart, they've given it fully. Now, the devil can speak of restrictions of time and restrictions of obligations. Let's take another card on this devil. And we've got the Six of Cups. So it's all about divine timing. Again, this is the Soulmate card. Now, dear Capricorn, dear Aquarius, sorry. You share the same ruling planet as Capricorn, Saturn. So it's all about divine timing, the Lord of Karma, which is Saturn. Now your ruler is starting to turn direct, so it's all systems go. What's this page of pentacles about? And we've got the death card. So there is a deep transformation, a deep, deep connection as well. And remember that the death card is also Scorpio, so there is... Um, Scorpio is also fixed energy, so this is something that is long going, ongoing. The death card does say that there are 
finances coming from your partner. This could be a very deep um, sexual and very emotional connection as well. Um, Scorpio can be very dark. Remember, it's Pluto. You've got Pluto twice here. So the death card does mean, obviously, that if, if you've been dealing with someone that was not sharing on a deep level, because I feel that you need depth, dear Aquarius, um, you've probably got strong Scorpio in your chart. You want that deep emotional connection. Remember, you're showing up as the Knight of Cups, which means you can have Scorpio here. Let's take another card. And we've got the Ten of Wands. So this could mean that you want depth, but some of you may have been wearing a mask and now it's time to communicate as you've been waiting for this for a while. Ten of Wands says you've come a long way. Remember, it turns into the Ace that you've got right here. You get to your goal. And for some of you, it's been quite burdensome. Uh, you've been sort of back and forth. What do I do? I feel that you are breaking the molds of anything religious, anything from family, anything to do with your influence from uh, your family, okay, and your upbringing. I do feel that you're breaking that mold. You are transforming your life on many levels now. Remember that the chariot is a victory card. It's overcoming obstacles. It's also movement, okay? Movement, which can mean moving to another residence. We've got the two of pentacles, so it could be a very busy time for you or a difficult time of making a difficult choice. Let's have a look at what else do we have with the hanging man and the ace of wands. And we've got the knight of wands. And the Knight of Wands is someone that is driven by their passion. This is movement, okay? This is taking your torch and running with it, running towards what you desire. Knight of Wands is also Sag, so yes, you could be at a distance to the other person, okay? And you are ready to heal through love, okay? I do feel that you are ready to heal through love. And no more secrets as... As dear Aquarius, we're having Mercury, which is the communicator, retrograding through the sign of Scorpio and Libra. So therefore, truth is coming to light in relation to uh, marriage, relationships of all sorts, and commitments, which is Scorpio. Scorpio is transforming your life on a fundamental level. Remember the tower here is there is a shape shifting happening for you dear Aquarius and this is an awakening that you're going through and you know where your arrows have got where they need to go you know where your calling is even though it's burdensome you've got the page of pentacles you want something long lasting something secure something that you can depend on a person that will be there for you the half of the home that's what you're after dear Aquarius Congratulations if you are reconciling here. Okay, this connection has gone through many, many changes, through many um, storms. Your perseverance is, and your patience is bringing you into a new future. So I want to wish you well in relation to that. Okay, we had the Four of Swords under there, so you've had a break, you've had time to heal, time to see the truth. The Tower means that your life has gone through many, many changes, many changes indeed. So, divine timing, okay, I will leave it there. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing and commenting, of course. Sending you much love and much light. Until next time, namaste.